How to get accurate, consistent measurements for complicated joinery. Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Let's talk about a technique to use when you're faced with a daunting task of some complicated joinery. Uh, in this case, for example, I'm going to do two aprons to a workbench. Uh, each of those two aprons is going to have three tenons on each end. So that's six tenons per apron, that's 12 tenons total. Those 12 tenons have to be received by an end piece that's not only going to go over those tenons uh, with through mortises, but also, also going to fit over two tenons that are on the workbench. So pretty complicated. Each one of these end pieces has got a total of eight mortises in them. Uh, now, I could try to lay those out using uh, fancy measurement devices and get just the measurements that I want, you know, how far in from the edge, how far down, how, how wide, and so forth, how deep. Uh, but very easy to get off somewhere and, and make a mistake. So... The tip would be to make your own customized special measuring device just for that project. Uh, for example, these tenons here, excuse me, these mortises here, which are going to be a certain distance in, uh, an inch and a half in, and then an inch and a quarter wide, I marked off on a stick so that I could get that same measurement every time. That part wouldn't be too difficult. I could measure that in with a ruler, draw a line. But then when it comes to the mortises, I'm going to have a 7 8 and then a 3 quarter inch mortise, and then a 1 inch gap, and then a 3 quarter inch mortise, and then a 1 inch gap, and then a 3 quarter inch mortise, and then that'll leave me 7 8 I could easily mess that up. So what I do is take this little custom... Uh, ruler that I'm going to make up, very flat, very square piece, and I do those measurements on that ruler. Even if I mess those up, it's not going to mess up my project, because as long as I use that on all four sides for both the tenons and the mortises with the same reference from the top, then they should all line up, even if I made a half an inch, quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch mistake somewhere here. As long as I use this everywhere, then it's all going to fit together. So, I hope you find that that saves you a lot of misery somewhere down the line and that that technique allows you to get consistent joinery. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.